Hello and welcome to the inspirational pop-up again on a Monday. Hey Bridget, how are you? I'm great. I'm really good. How are you? I'm so fine. Everything is good and I'm so excited about our topic today and it is stop stressing about the things you can't control and this is so important in these pandemic times, right? Yes. So something I want to say with that is, so Wayne Dyer, I don't know if people who know who he is, but Wayne Dyer, he's, he's since passed, but he speaks about, or he spoke about, you know, it, there, you, there's no need to stress because if you can control something to change it, then you do. If you can't control it, then you can't. So it's literally as simple as that. So if you can't control something, why stress about it, right? Yeah, and there's also a saying in German that stay calm and things you can't change. And this is so, when I hear this, yeah, this is the translation, yeah. So this is the thing, yeah, why don't you stress, or why do you stress? And that's the thing as well, because it's our thoughts that stress us. It's not the situation, no? So because it's, if you can't control it, then just lose yeah. it. Yeah. I think also it's the people that we choose to spend time with, because I think if I spend time with certain people, and I very seldom spend time with the kind of people I'm going to mention. But if I'd spend time with people who, you know, they will moan be about the weather, whether it's hot or cold, they'll moan. Well, you cannot control this. So what is the point? Or they will, they will complain about the value of the rand. Again, we cannot control this. So what is the point of worrying and stressing about it? It is what it is. So I think that's a big thing. I think when you're surrounding yourself with people who remind you, of the things you can control. Like when people say, I'm really unhappy in my job and I, I don't have a choice, I have to stay in it. Well, you kind of do have a choice, you kind of mm. do. You know, are you prepared to put in the work? Are you prepared to maybe go without a salary? Are you prepared, whatever, whatever, whatever. But that is within your control, your career, your job, what you do, where you study, um, who you spend time with, your health very often is within your control, how you choose to look after yourself. So, yeah, what do you, what, what's your take? Mm. Yeah, and as well, you can control your choices in that way um, that you, yeah, can, where, where do you focus on? Uh, is there something, yes. what you, okay, what you can do out of it, out of this situation, see it as a gift or as a horrible thing, and then mm. just take what you can control and, um, yeah, what, how you feel, how the consequences are. That you, If there is a fear, okay, identify your fear and think, are you going with the fear through your day? Yes. Or do you want to uh, be, be overwhelmed by this fear? No? So this is always yeah. accepting the feeling that's there or the thought that is there or just reject it. The, the more you, just, you, you reject it, the, the bigger it gets. Mm. Mm. Right? Well, one of the things on every Monday with Say Yes, we do a check-in and we mm -hmm. do a check-in on how the mentors and the mentees are doing. And there's a team of us and we do this check-in. And whenever there's people, as in the mentor and the mentee are meant to be chatting once a week for one hour for nine months, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're dealing with people from the age of 16 to 24. So, mm -hmm. you know, let's be completely honest. You know, you've got matric, you've got, they've got final exams, holidays coming up. There's all sorts of reasons. Anyway, for whatever reason, sometimes, you know, you want your, your, your consistency and the commitment to be there, that when you're doing a check-in with the mentor and mentee, that they're meeting like 70 or 80% of the time, whether it's online or whatever, that they're actually building that mental relationship. Then when you do the check-in on a Monday, and then you've got, you know, you've got guys, who, when I say guys, I mean people, where they are meeting maybe 40% of the time, you know, you look at that and, I, and I, we've spoken about this as a group and you look at that and going, oh my gosh, am I not doing my job? And that's a perfect example of what you cannot control. You cannot control people. So you can support and you can guide and you can help, but you cannot control if two people decide for three or four weeks, they don't want to check for whatever reason, aside of supporting them, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, and then yeah, and then take this situation and do something out of it. If like mm. also a traffic jam, so many people get so stressed in a traffic jam, but you can also see it as a gift for meditation, meditation, listening to an audio book, uh, to a yes. podcast, to really soak in some new information. Yeah, mm. I I stop to stress in a traffic jam because you can't 
change it yeah so I, I remember I was in the traffic jam for, for almost a day once because they were like a completely blockage on this on this thing yeah because it, it was the start of a holiday and there was a big big accident yeah and I couldn't really move forward so I I just got out next to a friend's house uh, from, from the autobahn and then I just said okay let's have two two to three hours until this full blockage is gone let's have a coffee we would never have exactly. met for a long time. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. I think also when you look back, like if I look back on this last year and all the things that I was stressing about or that was on my mind, invariably those things have all worked out and everything mm -hmm. is fine. And you look back and you think how many sleepless nights and how much worry and how much stress did I put myself under Right. For no reason, because it was none of it, I'm very fortunate because nothing that I went through was life threatening. So nothing was life threatening. It was all just me making this big thing out of things that weren't really that important. Um, and something that resonates with me, and I don't know if you have this, but you know, with positive affirmation. So for myself, the thing that I always say when I'm in a bit of a, a bit of a, I'm not too sure I'm feeling a bit stressed, the positive affirmation I use to myself is you've got this you've got this so no matter what's going on I'm like no no you've got this yep mm -hmm. you've got this I In think German, it's very important schaffst das, du schaffst das and uh, uh, positive affirmations are positive glaubenssätze and this is sometimes so calming as well no? because then you feel this what is really happening and also I think what helps is do a reality check mm. is it that horrible or is it that stressful yeah because if you do a reality check sometimes it's also just your thoughts that make it such a big problem and if you ask another person she she feels it or yeah have, has a completely different perspective yes that's a big that's a big thing when you speak to somebody else and you say blah, 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 and they're going and and <laughs> and and you're like oh Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, no, it's not. It's not. No, no, you know? Yeah, it's, so good to talk, it's so good to talk to a friend or a coach or Very. something. Say, Brr, stop. Do a reality check or really yeah. feel what it's in your body and feel it. And then sometimes mm. it just, in the moment where you look at this feeling or to allow this feeling to take room, then it just goes away or transforms, I would say. Not goes away, but it transforms. Transforms. I mean... There was a, when I was staying at my previous place and I had this ongoing thing with my electricity, I think I spent more time on these podcasts <laughs> talking about this flipping electricity than anything else. And it was such a thing for me about this whole electricity thing. And then I, I spent, I don't know, seven, eight months in a, in a, in a stress about and irritated about this. And then I moved to my new place. I've been here two, three weeks, whatever. It's incredible. It's my, it's so perfect for me here. I'm so happy here. And I'm thinking, why why if only i had been psychic and known then where i would be now i would have gone yeah i know it'll be good you know but you know that anyway you know that deep down but it met you um walk forward to new home yes. and to new neighborhood and so on you never know what comes and that's also the interesting thing when you can't control the best things happen so and this yes. is something really really amazing mm. and that mm. i would also um yeah guide everyone's attention to the things what you have in control and what what's happening in your life now and that's how we leave you in this week yes let go of all the stress and worry thank you so much for yeah, this inspirational talk have a great week bye you too. bye